Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Welcome to the Jeddah Corniche, one of the fastest circuits on the calendar. But let's see who will be fastest of them all. We're about to set the grid for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Yes, it's qualifying. With qualifying complete, all that remains now is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. We're here today on the shores of the Red Sea in the Lower Hejaz Mountains to visit one of the newest circuits on the Formula One calendar. We're in Jeddah, home to what we all hope is going to be a thrilling Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Hamilton, Russell, Leclerc, Perez, Stroll, Sonoda, Ricardo, Ocon, Gasly, Albon, Bottas, Magnussen. Joe, Holkenberg, and Logan Sargent. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And alongside me today is a man who needs no introduction, but I'll try anyway. It's Ant Davidson. I don't want to, but we should look at their recent performances, and I think poor is a universal word to describe them. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on. They're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season, and the more systematic you can be, 
the easier you are within that environment. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Okay, Carlos, engine's running very hot. Engine very hot. Let's try and pull out from behind the car in front and cool things down. We didn't quite get what we needed out of that, I'm afraid, but don't worry about it. There's a long way to go. Chin up and let's focus till the end.
Okay, focus. We need to stay on form. Final lap, final lap, push, push. Checkered flag. Bravi tutti, bravi. Forza Ferrari. A difficult weekend for me, but uh, we will come back stronger. And in the end, there was no for stopping. Max Verstappen. He takes victory. A great display of dominance today, Crofty, by this driver. They led from lights out to the flag at the end, led every lap of the race. Brilliant stuff by them. And uh, excited to see what more they can do in future races. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves.
After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we...